the only reason I have the max frame rate set to 143 is because I do not have a G-Sync or a FreeSync monitor. So if I put it on unlimited, I get a lot of screen tearing. So I had to cap it at 143. On power management, you can use um, max performance, but I find that using max performance, it doesn't just like affect like what's going on in a game. It also makes everything in a desktop, all programs, everything run at max, you know. So I felt like it was using a lot more, um, making a lot more heat and using a lot more GPU than it needed to do on certain things. So I set it to adaptive and I get the same, you know, the same frames, whether it's on adaptive or high performance. I wanted to make this video as short as possible. So not to sit here and talk for 10 minutes about certain settings and whatnot. On this part right here, use the NVIDIA color settings, um, set it to highest. And whatever your color depth is on your monitor, it could be, it could be eight, 10, or 12, just set it to the max. Um, output color, RGB, output dynamic range, full. Let's see. This is another one. Like since my monitor is a QLED, if I turn the digital vibrance up, it doesn't look as good, but if it's if it's like a regular monitor, it doesn't have that Q, QLED with the with the darker colors, all that brighter colors. You can turn this actually up to 70 or 80. Like you can tell how it looks on mine. If I turn it up to 80, it doesn't look so good because my color is already pretty good at 50. But other people have found like it looks amazing when you turn it up to 70 or 80 on regular monitors. This should be set on landscape. Um, you can just skip over the HDCP and also the audio thing. Over here, you go to the advanced tab right here and set the dynamic range to full. And that is pretty much it. Also, make sure you have the newest driver also, so your games run good. Anyways, enjoy the video, test the settings, tell me what you think.